Mm-hmm. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Zeno. Is this thing on? Yes. Hey, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going for your mind, your body. In your future. Very good. All right. What is on the camera <laughs> there? And then Timmy D is over there. All right. So, so today, I'm, just let me know when people are getting on. I'll do some announcements. If you haven't watched episode nine, definitely check that out. We've gotten a huge response to episode nine. And I believe the things that you really guys are, are getting is that a lot of you are feeling that, that, 50 mil, that $50 million question. If I have $50 million and I got a check today, what would I be doing two months from now for free, right? Because the first two months, you'd get all your stuff out of the way, but then what do you want to do with your life? So whatever that, would, that thing would be for free, that's your purpose. That's the thing you love to do. And a lot of you, if you want to find out what it is, it's asking those questions. He's like, oh, I would do this. I would serve here. I would open up a business doing this. So that's a really good idea on what you're doing. A little guest cameo with Justice right here. He wants to be in on it. So you can hang out with me. So that's why, uh, and you know, I, I don't know what you guys really want, but when you guys comment and it's touched, touched you, it really blesses us as well because we realize that we're hitting something that you really want to know about. All right, buddy. Step aside. I can do these things right here. You'll have your share soon enough. <laughs> All right. So today is, number one, say hello. Do the hearts. Do the likes. Hit the share button. Don't forget, starting Monday, all these will be done from the at Dr. Zeno page. So it's going to be at Dr. Dot space Zeno. So that's the fan page. We'll be broadcasting these from there. So make sure you're on there as well. Uh, make sure you like and share that we are here as videos and see the, the vlogs. All these vlogs that you're watching, they're stored on YouTube. So you can go to my YouTube channel, Chris Zeno. It's there and you'll have all the, the We Are Heroes videos and all the, the vlog videos as well. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about an anti-inflammatory protocol that I used specifically on non-workout days. So I work out five days a week. I take Wednesdays and Sundays off. On those days off, I have lower carbohydrate. They're my lower carbohydrate days because I'm really fighting inflammation on those days because I'll work out two or three days in a row, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So with two or three days of hard training and at work, a lot of inflammation builds up. So on those days off, I lower my carbohydrate intake, number one, because that also lowers inflammation. And I don't need the, all those extra carbs because I'm not working out that day. I still do body work. Like Wednesday, I do the sauna and go see Dr. Tran. And if you saw from the videos, I get other soft tissue work done, but I'm not actually training. So my main goal is I'm going to take as much inflammation down as possible rapidly to encourage recovery. So then the first thing you do is, of course, you stay hydrated, drink as much water as possible. What I, what I make sure to do is, with eat, I'm going to talk to you about what I do in each meal and what I do in between each meal. All right? So, babe, who's on so far so I can say hello? Sarah Thompson. Hey, Sarah. Patrick Williams. Hey, Patrick. Tito Ramos. Hey, Tito. Shanna Canfield. Hey, Shanna. Jacob. Julie Ritzke. Rob Neuenschwander. All right, Rob, and Rob was just here. We, he's, she's driving back, I believe, to Aaron his uh, wife's shower, shower. All right, so I'll start. So these are easy protocols you do to shut down inflammation. Number one, lowering the carbohydrates, lowering any type of sugar, and lowering your insulin levels by not having as many carbs will automatically start to shut down um, inflammation. Then when I, But here is if you're taking away carbohydrates, I'm adding healthier fats and a lot of greens because greens help lower that, whether it be green vegetables, plus the cauliflower, those are alkaline, the lower inflammation. Another form of greens is wheatgrass powder. You have this per meal in your green shakes. But the main thing I wanna do is with every meal, or actually before every meal, I make sure I do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of this in water, and I take five of these wool benzymes. Wool benzymes right here from Garden of Life. And don't worry, I'm not getting any kickback from Garden of Life at all. Uh, well, benzymes, they are pancreatic enzymes, and you take these enzymes in between meals. You don't take them with meals. Reason being is if you take them with meals, it's going to help digest your food. We don't want these enzymes to digest food. We want them to help break down inflammation. So I would take five of these about a half hour before a meal, or even an hour before a meal. So I would put a glass of water, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, Five wool enzymes, boom, down the hatch, all right? So I do that in between all my six meals. So that's taking up to 30 of these a day. You know, if I remember, if you miss one, I get it. But I make sure that I have that between each meal. Those two combinations right there, 
especially having these five, you know, five or six times a day, five of them, 30 total, and the apple cider vinegar, that's going to really reduce inflammation incredibly. So that's what I do in between the meals. Now, during the meals, to lower the inflammation, I want to make sure I get a probiotic source and I want to get a collagen type source. So a probiotic source could be like these raw probiotic powders or I have another, you know, probiotic in here that, and this, these both have to be refrigerated. So probiotics, I'll either take that with the meal or I'll take the, uh, the red beet and cabbage uh, sauerkraut that you get from, what's the name of this place, babe? Wild brine. Wild brine, really? Yep, that's them. Wild brine, so I have that. So either a tablespoon of this or one of these probiotics. Now I have three, right? Why do I have three? Because I like variety. So I might do this one meal, this one meal, the other meal. Or if you only have the sauerkraut, it's fine. So I make sure I take a probiotic per meal and then a collagen source per meal. So the collagen source per meal could be a tablespoon of that bone block protein. I don't have it here with me. Or actually I use this for collagen. So we have the Great Lakes Collagen. Here's a green can and an orange can. Here's the difference. The green can is hydrolyzed so it doesn't gum up. You could use that. Or, you know, I, the reason why I get the orange can is because Whitney uses this for her healthy gummies. You might have seen that in a recipe she posted. Check out her Facebook. So she makes healthy gummies with these. So what I do is I'll just take a tablespoon of this down the hatch because this does gum up a little bit, or it definitely does. So I always have a collagen source and a probiotic source, or I'll do that, a tablespoon of bone broth protein, which is a collagen source with probiotics. So, and that's kind of a modified GAPS diet. The GAPS diet, if you've ever heard of it, gut and, gut and psychology diet to heal the gut. You want a probiotic and you want a collagen source with every meal. So in between the meals, right, I have the apple cider vinegar and the wool benzines. We have those there. During the meal, collagen source and a probiotic source. Also with the meals, now during my days off, my main, during my regular days, I have different types of fats throughout the day. Remember we, we talked about, I have grass-fed beef lard in the morning, or egg yolks, or I'll have uh, sesame oil raw, or macadamia oil, oil raw, or fish oil, or udo's oil, All the, or, or just the, mat, the, the fat from the meat that I, that I have when I have grass-fed beef. But on my days off, I specifically will not add any fats but one. And the only fat I'll add on this day is fish oils. So the reason why I do fish oils, I'll have maybe a tablespoon three, four times a day. I will not substitute any other fat is because the fish oils are high, high anti-inflammatory. So on Wednesday and Sundays, I kind of really blast those fish oils high because I'm gonna create an entire environment of shutting down inflammation. So with the apple cider vinegar and the probiotic, and the, uh, the Wolbenzyme enzymes in between the meals, with the collagen and the sauerkraut or probiotics during the meals. And when I take one to four tablespoons of fish oil, because I'll even have two less egg yolks, so I can do a tablespoon of this. I won't add another tablespoon of oil like sesame seed or macadamia. I'll have one of these. So this becomes my oil on those two days because fish oil is really knocked down inflammation. So when I bring all of those things into play, it's, it, it hits inflammation on so many different levels that it really takes away any type of inflammation I developed over those one or two days of training and just being around and working, working out and working. And so Wednesday and Sunday, it affects, these are so effective in inflammation, I know because I'll wake up the next day two or three pounds lighter. And so you say, well, does it make you lose weight? It doesn't make you lose weight in the sense of fat, it could, but what it really does, when I wake up two pounds lighter, it's showing me that when you're inflamed, you retain water, plain and simple, right? You ever see like an inflamed muscle, you hurt your muscle, it swells. When you're inflamed, your body retains water. So this does such a great job of fighting inflammation. The two pounds of water weight are gone because I lower the inflammation so much. So that's a really great sign that I know it's working. Uh, where did I get this protocol, you ask? It's the Dr. Zeno protocol, it's from experience. You know, I try, it's tried and true, especially getting ready for a show near the end, cosmetic wise, I wanna drop as much water as I can and inflammation, and that's a great way of doing it. Also, food allergies, if you have low level food allergies, a low level food allergy is gonna cause inflammation. So a lot of times when there's fat loss resistance or you're allergic to a food low level, it causes inflammation. So that's why I know what foods I'm sensitive to, and I make sure that I do these protocols to lower inflammation and a sign of it is that you drop some water weight because you're not as inflamed anymore. 
So the, that's a great way to do it. I guarantee try. This is simple. This is cheap. Uh, you know, always have this. I have it every day in the morning, but during the, the off days, I have it every, before every meal. Now the Wolbenzymes, this is going to be the most costly. You could get a huge, you could get these come in 360. You could get Wolbenzyme or proteolytic enzymes. Go online, I'm sure you could find a good deal because on those two days is when I take these. So I only take these two days a week. So yes, 30 sounds like a lot, but I'm just taking them those two days a week. So that's being your, your investment. Your probiotics, you could buy probiotics like this. And yeah, this could be $30 and this could be 20 or you could just go with the real deal, the sauerkraut. And it has red beet in it, so it's a great liver purifier. Or they can make their own sauerkraut if they want yeah, to just we, save money. Yeah, we made our sauerkraut. We used to make jars, you know what I mean? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> this is really cost effective. How long does this last you? Forever. All right, so Great Lakes, go in there and get a bunch of them. And then the fish oil, that's really good. I like this one. I get the, I get the Garden Life, the cod liver oil, and you don't, it doesn't repeat, you know, so that means it's, it's got a fine flavor to it. That's good enough, wheatgrass. So I would do those on your days off. So now if you're sitting and say, well, do I only do these on days off workout? No, you could do them whenever. You know, if you, you could do it on your workout days. I just found that on Wednesday and Sunday on my days off, it just, I'm eating less carbs and I, I'm able to add these in and it just has worked for me. So you could do it two days a week and give that a try. Or if you're really in inflammation mode and your joints are hurting, you do them a couple days a week. Find the thing that works. But I would definitely start with two days a week and then if that's not doing the trick, go to three, or maybe for some of you need four, but you find your sweet spot and enter this in, and I really think you'll see huge benefits from it. So if you like that, please hit the thumbs up. I know there's a lot of content today, uh, and we're trying to mix it all around. Also, I want you guys' feedback before we go into questions. Here's the feedback. Some of the feedback I've been getting from a lot of you guys and your loyal watchers of this, you say, listen, you're expressing that we're giving you so much content. The We Are Hero Show, the 15 Minute Fuels, the Instagram pictures, the teasers. So we're really flooding you guys with amazing content. And some of you are feeling that it's tough to catch up or it's tough to watch all the shows. So if you want, if it's easy for you and you would like it, you just tell, I'll do whatever. If you want us to do 15 Minute Fuel Monday through Friday, just let us, if that's a good idea, that you just want five videos, or we do just the Monday, Wednesday, Friday vlogs and the Monday through Friday 15 Minute Fuels. And so we leave you, we, we don't leave you alone, but we allow you to have the weekend to catch up. If you, would, if you think that's a good idea, just let us know. Literally comment and say that's a great idea. If you love seven days a week with the vlogs, three days a week, we'll keep on doing that as well. What all we would do is we would bring Sunday, Sunday, into during the week. We bring like more of a content lifestyle one like this into the week. You'd have Whitney's show once a week and you would get two mindset ones. I know you guys love the mindset ones. You would get two or three of those from me during the week. Justice is about to start his own show. So we'll probably have Justice's show during the week somewhere. Hopefully you join that. That'll be fun. So just let me know. If you like the seven days a week, I'm all in. No problem. If you say five days a week is great because it gives you Saturday and Sunday to catch up on the 15 minute fuels and the vlogs that we do. The, the, what I don't want you to do is to get so overwhelmed that you do nothing. That's what I don't want to happen. So what, tell me what would be optimal for you guys. We'll do it so you could absorb and catch it all in. Because each one of these episodes, you, you're going to learn one thing or many things, and it's going to constantly shift your life. I guarantee a year from now, you'll be an entirely different person in the mind, in the body, and in your future. That's why we're doing it. But it doesn't happen overnight. It's you and I meeting together on a daily basis. So if that means on the weekends, you could catch the We Are Heroes episode 9 and, and Thursday's 15 Minute Fuel. If, if that's your homework on the weekends to catch up and you're ready to rock on Monday, if that's going to be better for you to you know, literally comprehend all the information, then I'll do it versus getting so overwhelmed that nothing happens. So please comment on that. Let us know what you want. Also comment on any questions. All right, babe. Questions? Um, ben said, I think I need to get a notebook. Jennifer Cross says, need this on the weekends as much as... Okay. Um, so that's one. Kat said, five times a week is great. Okay. One. <laughs> so. And that's all the comments so far. I mean, other, you know, that's all... Well, for, well you guys can comment if you're watching this. How many's yeah. on right now? 27. Nice. Well, on yeah, other, other little comments. Patrick said, I need some attention on my lower Dr. Z. Maybe lower body. 
Elsie says hi, Cody says hi, loving this topic. Patrick says they know is a drinking concoction of apple cider. I can't see the whole comment on here. I know because it stops it. Weird. Yeah. yeah. This is Facebook for you. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of good catch up time would be good from Ben. Heather Harrison said, I've always thought weekends off is a great idea. So yeah. Well, I'll give you I'll give the market what the market wants. So um, if, if you guys like catch up time, because then what we do, you think so on the weekends? Well, it's cool for the vlogs. You know, we just, we might send them stuff like, hey, don't forget to catch up on, like how Jacob did the other day, like episode, uh, so it'll be like seven, eight, nine. He did that. That was great. I think Instagram works well when you, we have like daily content when uh -huh. it comes to like Facebook. If we do the five, two day catch up, um, and then the vlog, of course, is still three days a week. Yeah. I think that'll work out pretty So, you know, I'm doing it for you. You know, I don't, I'm not going back on my word on 365, we'll still get content or reminder content. I just want to make sure that it's not overwhelming because I understand everybody has a schedule or something like that. So if it's if you could catch up on the weekends, if, if doing five allows you to get everything in and allow you to become way better than fire hosing seven and you're getting two or three, yeah. I'll do Shana it. Shanna said, I like the five days I get behind also. Okay. And so Shanna's a mom, right? So yeah, yeah. I know the moms out there that, you know, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it, you know. Mark said, not overwhelming, can listen in car. Jim, Shanna also asked, so you're taking the powder straight up, like the collagen? Which one? The collagen? Shanna, because this one is the one that gums up, it's got to go down the hatch quick. So I'll do this and slam. Like literally when it's in my mouth, it starts gelatin gelatinizing. <laughs> So, so what you want to do, okay, if you're watching this, Shanna, because you have little ones, go ahead and get the orange one because they love the gummies. And just text Whitney, she makes a great gummy recipe. Um, I would get the green one then because the green one you can stick in your mouth and it doesn't, it absorbs, it doesn't gel up. So yeah, I would just do it and down the hatch. I mean, I know it's so like, you know, if you put it in a drink. Or you can put it into like a... A smoothie. It gets thick though. Not, it? not right. that big. I'm not that bad because sometimes I put that in the right. kids' smoothie. So it, if you just put a little bit in, then or the bone broth. You're doing so that you, and, yeah, yeah. So if you do the bone broth, it, it's fine too. So one of those two. You put it in your pudding, right? I put it in my pudding to make it pudding. Mm -hmm. right. Rob Rob asks, what are healthy foods that cause inflammation? What are healthy foods that cause inflammation? Um, well, the foods that you have a sensitivity to. So, but let's say you don't know those. So I would say healthy, like healthy foods could be like organic, organic carbs could cause inflammation. You know, if you eat a lot too much meat, that causes inflammation. Don't you agree, babe? Like even though it's oh, grass yeah, fed, sure. even yeah. though it's grass fed, grass finished. And I think that's the reason why I started doing this protocol because it's not that I just worked out two days in a row or three days in a row. It's I also had six protein meals, yeah. right? So those six protein meals, you know, you feel it behind your eyes. Like some of you guys might see on the weekend, my eyes start to get, you know, that's why I always hold my, my bags and stress here. But like at the end, I feel like tired or toxic a little bit. So I just think it's the, pro the protein and, and on top of everything else. So those Sundays and Wednesdays, that's a really good. And anti-inflammatory is also your coffee enemas and your sauna, you know, so that's all the other protocols we talked about as well. So I would say healthy foods. And set, like someone commented, some nightshades cause inflammation. Right, right. So like, yeah, certain... You know, root vegetables. Peanuts, yeah. Rock, peanuts. And um, I have another question. Hold on, where was that? Um, hold on, I'm getting to it. I know, I got oh, it. Oh, Shanna. Sorry, it's Shana. Sorry. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, Patrick was asking about his low back. But Sean asked, is turmeric help for, helpful for depression? A lot of people say it is, and turmeric's really good, too. Stay right there. That's also a good one. So yeah, I do, uh, I get the one from Life Extensions, and I'll actually take two of these before bed. Like that, you know. But the bone broth has a turmeric one too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, depression, depression could be from gut, you know, gut health, you know, causes mm -hmm. that too. There's just so many roots of it, that's why you, yeah. have to, you have to just be looking at how can we maximize function of the entire body, gut health, nervous system. Mm -hmm. I get depressed when I eat a lot of carbs, I get, I get, uh, for sure. A white rice the only thing works for me, but if I just eat, a, I haven't, babe, I haven't had like a real cheat meal in like weeks. I know. And I'm way better. Like when we were eating, like we would go on Tuesday nights and have hamburgers, I would have two hamburgers and two. Oh yeah, it takes like days to recover. Yeah, I was definitely not, I was, that'll make you inflamed. 
Even though, even gluten, you know what makes me inflamed? Gluten free food. Here's a healthy food. It's like all the gluten free foods. Yeah. yeah. I get inflamed sure. from that stuff because I think it's like got even lots the of even food. the really good ones that like yeah. don't have corn and yeah, even the really good ones it's, are still. It gets this processed stuff, you know. Yeah. So I think really those even the gluten free stuff gets me pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Is everything cool? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, so you'll just, have to respond to other questions yeah. later. He'll respond to the other questions because I cannot read I them all, and I can't. There's no way for me it's to just a, it's open just a new them Facebook. Up. It used to be easy before. So, listen, your comments, I'm going to answer. Well, I'm going to go work out, but I'll answer them later. I promise. Uh, tomorrow's going to be Sunday. Sunday. Make sure you. Uh, so, what we'll do is this. We're going to finish out this week of seven 15-minute fuels, and then starting next week, we'll do Monday through Friday. So we give you guys time to catch up. But remember, on the weekends, you're going to still get content. Like, we'll, we'll do some little teasers, 30-second teasers, uh, Instagram, Facebook. You could catch up on We Are Heroes. We might even just repost those videos again, right? Just kind of... I'm sure we can figure out something. Like, we always have those 30-second little yeah. spots we yeah. can do. So we're going to throw you stuff, but it'll be easy to do. Actually, there'll be little stuff to give you reminders. Be like, oh, okay. And you could follow up on these uh, fuels as well. And... Uh, Make sure you like, you share, uh, and, and that's really it. And all your comments, if, even if this is not live, even if you're watching this two months from now and it's not, not live, comment, I'm going to answer your question 100% of the time. So thank you so much. And also on Instagram, just to let you know, you saw that post, they blocked me from direct messages, but you can still contact me through the post. I, I'm free to do that. So just that's what happens when you hustle and work hard and try to make a difference. So have an amazing day for 15 Minute Fuel where our intention is always to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Very good, guys. They're learning. See you soon.